For the record, you ain't trying to grow any stuff for you. For the record, lab on me going all the way. For the record, ain't trying to link no time to waste. What's this? I'm going to the gym. The plan today is to do a little bit of workout and to test the Nike Vaporfly Next Percents because I haven't given them a proper good testing. That said, it's not being recorded for a review or anything. It's literally just me giving them a run, seeing how good they are, seeing if I can tell the difference between those and the Vaporfly 4% that I had from previous. I did a review of the Vaporfly Next Percent recently and more of a general overview of the shoe and what they look like and uh, aesthetically kind of the, the elements of them and the upgrades to them from previous models. Now, if you don't know what they are, they are the... Uh, elite marathon running shoe that Nike brought out a little while ago. They were part of um, sort of Team Nike, shall we say, is marathon runners. And um, yeah, I'm just going to give them a try. This is not what this particular vlog's all about today. It is just literally the morning and I've got myself up and I'm dragging myself to the gym. Oh yeah, the blue liquid, that is a pre-workout. Nothing hardcore not going to super extremes and I'm not entering any kind of bodybuilding competitions. I just want to kind of sort myself out a little bit before I go on holiday because I feel a bit bloated. Ugh. Oh, I wish one day they'd make a pre-workout that tastes nice. This is better than most, to be fair. It's actually not that bad. Fuel. You need fuel when you go to the gym. I'm not giving you any advice like I'm a PT or anything. I just definitely think you need fuel to go to the gym. I used to go to the gym loads. I used to go to the gym phew, ridiculous, like nearly every day before I had my little boy. Um, five times a week, weight training, two days a week, cardio, um, walking morning and evening, like for half an hour. One of the things that I learned was you needed fuel to go to the gym. Now, yeah, I've had that pre-workout. That pre-workout is such a good one because it doesn't give you a drop-off. Like some of them, you know, give you a massive boost to a certain degree and then they just drop off, taper off. This thing kind of gives you a gradual boost. And it doesn't actually taper off. It just, you know, you get out of it what you want and then you go. And it was really hard to find one that's like that for a long time. But nothing beats food every time for some fuel. or should I say the car and um, more houses to film today I might try and show you a little bit more if the properties are better like bear in mind yesterday's property is mm, iffy should we say like the first one was quite big and quite nice but the second one was a bit and as you saw from the video the stuff that I tend to do is a mixed bag but you do get some really nice ones even if they're small so if I do get any good ones today that's what you'll see. If not, we'll have to find something else to talk about, won't we? Today, we're going to Milton Keynes in the United Kingdom. This town is famous for 
numerous things, but the only thing that springs to mind is that the Red Bull F1 racing team is based there. Now, I'm sure that that is actually probably one of the worst things I could have said it's famous for, and I'm sure it's famous for other things. The only other thing I can turn around and tell you it's got is a ski dome and lots of roundabouts. So, um, I need to get going. It's going to take me about an hour to get there, and uh, we're going to be meeting up with a guy called Sol. He works in the Buckingham, Banbury, Vine and Country. Let's hope this house is a good one. Fingers crossed. Oh, by the way, the Vaporfly Next Percent. Wow. Never tried a running shoe like that ever before. Now, when I did my review about it, I mentioned that it was super comfortable. But to run in them, you could just run for days. It is incredible. What a shoe. So light, so comfortable, although they're not a casual wearer. You would not want to be walking around in those. You would be so unbelievably unstable. I obviously need to do a bit of a run test and a comparison. That will come down the line with a bit more wear and a longer, probably outdoor running test too. I'm no marathon runner, but, uh, you know, it's all my personal opinion. Anyway, can't dawdle, time to go. This is what you call a pretty cool property. Yeah, so far it's not been too bad, but um, sometimes these things can go a little bit wrong. Things don't always work in your favor. Things can hold you up. And I need to get on with finishing up this place and moving on to the next one, which is back home in Warwickshire in Rugby. So let's crack on with this place. Three hours later. This is house number two. So, um, I had a bit of a nightmare with the previous property. I had proper technical glitches, not something that I have very often, but when I do, oh, do they go wrong. And to make it even worse, the window cleaners turned up, so they were delaying me from being able to do the drone stuff I needed to do at that house, and they were delaying me from being able to do the pole stuff. That's the thing that I had a glitch with, and uh, yeah, it just kept disconnecting. It was driving me insane, but we are now at a brand new property here in, it's like a place called, I think it's called Crick, or near Crick here in Northamptonshire, and uh, yeah, it's this huge, big, thatched cottage style property lots of garden it's really really cool and it's got a couple of interesting little features that you guys might find rather interesting it looks like a wheelchair motorbike yeah what i think it is is it that's the weirdest thing i've ever seen that's <laughs> wow <laughs> You are officially a Hell's Angel pensioner. <laughs> Seriously, this place has got a pool. Told you I do go to some nice places. Although the first house yesterday was not run down. It was quite nice. It was just the bars that needed a bit of redoing. This place, pool, I was going to come and push you in there. Are you joking? No, no pushing in. Fresh off the Harley wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a pond. And uh, I'll show you the front. Follow me. This is the house. There you go. Completed it. This one's done. In the can. Graham's a bit interesting with, uh, with that motorbike wheelchair interesting um concept there uh, he said he would go to the shops on it if uh, if he owned it and uh, i need to get back to my offices got to go and dump four houses over the last two days i haven't had an opportunity to get there so it's time to hit the road back to ip headquarters which stands for infinite pixel if you didn't see it on my t-shirt yesterday welcome to the office oh there uh, yeah, there, there's the office, this place, here. Hi. Hello. Hi, yeah. Uh. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello. 
the gifts that have been left for me. A broken Ronan and just lots of wires and shit. I fixed it for you, actually. So this is what happens when I come back to my office. So I've spent the best part of all day out and about and I've got to obviously offload all this footage that I've recorded. Everyone's just disappeared off home to leave me to lock up. Nice. On that note, I think I might draw this vlog to a close. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And one other thing that I thought I'd leave right till the end is I'm thinking about doing some form of a giveaway on Thai Kicks. And I was wondering if you guys could give me a little bit of your input. So comment in the section down below something that is reasonably cool to give away and obviously is uh, easily accessible and not something overly ridiculous and crazy expensive. Something that you would probably appreciate, whether it be a sneaker cleaner, whether it be something to keep your Jordans from their toe box creasing, you know, sneaker shields, something, just a couple of ideas, things that I might not have thought of, maybe something I haven't thought about that's a little bit outside the box. And with that, I'll catch you again later.